Success has seemingly never come easy for Arizona State senior forward Willie Atwood. After graduating from Melrose High School, the Memphis-bred prospect did not hold any offers from a major Division I program. Nevertheless, Atwood was determined and headed to Connor State, where he was eventually named third team All-America. I know I wanted to play high major basketball, and I thought I could do it. So I just stayed in the gym a lot, and then I started getting what I want. He was top five, top ten. I want to say top five for sure coming out of JUCO, and I was top 25, and I was looking at him like he was one of the better players coming in. Former ASU head coach Herb Sendek touted Atwood as one of the most highly recruited players to come into Tempe. Atwood was the face of ASU's JUCO recruiting class that featured Jerry Blakes and Savon Goodman, but his numbers failed to meet expectations. Atwood was limited to just 11 minutes per game and reached double-digit points just twice. I started relaxing a little more, you know, when I got here. I don't think I worked as hard as I should have. Following Bobby Hurley's hire nearly a full calendar year after he committed to ASU, Atwood considered transferring. Shortly after meeting his new head coach, his mind was made up. It was like, you know, as long as you work for it, you will get it. I get to see you hands on and with my own eyes. So um, I'll be the judge of, you know, what's going on. Willie's just uh, got a great attitude and a uh, hard worker and, and has passion for, for basketball. With a fresh slate and a bevy of motivation, Atwood put plenty of work in this summer, dropping nearly 20 pounds and getting back into the shape that earned him such high praise as a JUCO prospect. I just knew I, I didn't want to sit on the bench anymore. Yeah. So, you know, I had to change something. That was part of the mission that he was on, wanting to be better, wanting to prove people wrong this season and wanting to be something. I think he deserves uh, to play well and, and to play a key role on our team this year. And he has. Atwood is fourth on the team in minutes played and points per game, but maybe more importantly is his contributions off the court. Atwood's personality and overall positive demeanor has had a great impact on his teammates. All the guys like Willie. We like being around Willie. He's always smiling, he's always positive, and uh, it's great to be around guys like that. Well, I'm from like the inner city, he's from the country, so that right there is always funny. We have our differences, and uh, he's just a good guy. As a coach, you, you look to find guys that you can depend on, that you can count on, that you know are going to give you maximum effort, that you know are, are about the right things and, and are about winning, and, uh, and that's what Willie's been for me. He's my guy. <laughs> About a month remains in Atwood's career in Tempe. He says he plans on pursuing a professional basketball career, and while that future remains a little cloudy, Atwood is clear about how he wants people to look at his time as a Sun Devil. I just wanted to say I had the best time of my life, you know, in college, and you know, got everything I could get out of it, and, you know, enjoyed myself. And I want everybody to think of me as, like, you know, a great person with a great personality, always with a smile on his face, just a great kid. From Tempe, I'm Zach Pocklib, Cronkite Sports.